Welcome everyone. It is the sixth video of this uh, Zoopsil's Binding of Isaac series. As you can see, we have a uh, compass to locate us in the right direction. Uh, kind of a vital uh, item later on in the game if you're low on health. And you need to know which way to go to proceed. This is one of my favorite randomly generated rooms in the Binding of Isaac. Because it's essentially just a bunch of gishes who can only shoot in those directions. All in a row just lined up to where you won't take damage unless you're a complete idiot. Oh, now see, these guys... Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. You're not dying fast enough. Alright, um... I just realized that we're in a little bit of a pickle because we're in the second area of the catacombs and our, uh, our damage... Really? We're doing that much damage? I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that. Uh, the pushpin. The pushpin? What does the pushpin do? It gives you a 10% chance at, I believe, spectral tears? I want to say. Or piercing tears? Maybe both? <laughs> oh, boy. As, as you guys have seen in my past travels, there's no way that we're doing this much damage. I'm sorry, I refuse to believe this. These damn things are taking way too much damage. Now I have bloodlust, so we're... We're rocking and rolling there. And yeah, this is spectral tears. You can see, uh... You can see occasionally... These are mostly red, but occasionally a white one will come out of this. Let's see. Anything? There you go. Yeah. And we have no keys. We just used our last key to get the uh, the compass. I was a uh, silly willy doing this, going that far. I guess we will uh, go down south and clear out the uh, area of the boss room here. Yeah, da, 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 da. I hate these train enemies. These these are a part of the uh, DLC expansion. Been having a lot of people ask me if the uh, DLC is worth it, and I'm like, dude, it's three bucks. It adds a lot of enemies, a lot of bosses, a lot of items, a few characters. D there's no way. Endings, stages, you name it, the game ad is, it, it adds so much to it. It's just like, I don't know. And as uh, another viewer, I forget who it was, maybe Cody Jones, pointed out, the uh, the patch sort of made Isaac a different game all entirely because it's so nice. It's, uh, it's very deep. It's, a, it's, it's an excellent add-on, and for three bucks, there, I, to me, it's a no-brainer. There's no reason not to do it. Here we go. Let's see if we can find a way to get a key here. I know it sounds crazy, I'm going to check these, though. Ha! <laughs> what are you- Oh, a one-up! If we die, we come back to life. That's always nice, it's just too bad that we have a... pretty plain Jane run going right here. Not a whole lot of soul hearts, not uh, too many great items. Alright, let's keep our distance from these guys. Let's see if we can get him to, uh use his blowing up powers. Really? Oh, man, my analog stick fucked me there. Don't buy Microsoft products, guys. There we go. This is exactly what I wanted him to do. That way we save a bomb. Well, I was certainly hoping that would be the, uh, the way to go, but unfortunately it was not. Go ahead and uh, use a bomb here to get the four bombs. There we go. And I have to blow this up. I'm sorry, I have OCD. I can't not blow things up. I have to blow things up whenever there's an option. I'm sorry. I wish that I wish I didn't have that mental disorder to where I have to blow things up constantly, but I'm sorry. I see it. And it's free there to explode. There we go. Right. This is a good... Uh, this is one of my favorite bosses to face just because he's not that difficult. Well, mini bosses, I should say. Of, of, of the seven deadly sins, this one is probably my favorite. Thanks, just because, in my opinion, he's the easiest. Gluttony and Ham are usually the, uh, two. There we go. What do we have here? The Fool. This will take us back to the, uh, to the starting room that we, uh, that we came into, so... It's a, it's a nice way, basically, if you enter a room and it's there's just way too much going on and, you're, and you feel helpless. It's it's a nice way to get away and prepare for it and 
re regroup, rethink your decision, that type of thing. It's it's kind of nice. Now, if we wanted to, we could exit. Like, let's say we just exited this room down here. I'm not going to. And only that one enemy remained. Next time we come up, all those enemies would be respawned. So, for people going, why didn't you just take the easy route? No, that's not the easy route. That's why. I mean, you could rely on them opening up the path again, I guess. But I, I don't like relying on random circumstance in games. To me, that's just a little goofy. Oh, man. What terrible luck! As you can see, those red treasure chests, they either have, like, really cool items inside, or, like, two pills. Something like that that would really help you out. Our Laza Blinkos! What's up, Laza Blinkos? Oh, I'm sad! You beat me in fantasy baseball again! Oh! Mm. Did you hear him go? Mm. Couple of towers. Go eliminate these one by one. There we go. Very nice. And there we go. Get a bomb. Not what I wanted, dude. We still need a fucking key here, man. Matchstick. This will give us uh, a higher chance of bombs, but I don't really want that, so I'm going to switch back out for the push pin. Oh shit. Look at him. Look at this motherfucker right here. Yeah, thank you for killing that thing for me. Alright, what's this going to be? It'll identify it soon enough. I think. Speed up. Nice. Uh, I guess we are going to go back here, huh? This sucks! There is, uh... I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to see if we can put a bomb in here. We'll try here. Yeah, I didn't think so. And the other bomb that I will try, since we have so many bombs. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Uh, I suppose we can try here. I, I basically, I don't want to desert. It ended up that using that, uh... Well, I can't say for certain that it was a bad idea. This game is such an asshole. There's no other way to put it. But now now we have to bypass this uh, item completely. Because we don't have a key to open that up. So that's that's the risk that you run in this game. Ow! What the fuck? Who starts out with that? Go fuck yourself. No, 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 no. We're doing this. And of course, they're all away from him and all close to me. That's why I hate Anna's cookbook. It's just, I don't know. It's one of those items I hate relying on luck. Because, hey, luck isn't even real, first and foremost. It's all happenstance. As you can see, though, now we can keep our, uh, keep our distance from these guys. Cube of meat, which works as a roving satellite. Kind of like that. <laughs> it's a shame we couldn't get that, though. It's a present. Yeah, we've already seen this one, too. He's putting on the wig, and they're like, eh, cross-dresser. But, you know, I swear to God, man, this analog. For, for those wondering, I'm not even using the analog. I'm just holding the controller at a downward slant, so it's all like, Oh, I guess he wants to go up! Microsoft products, everyone. That's all you need to know. Microsoft products. As you can see now, Larry Jr., a former boss, is, of course, now just a common enemy, because that's the way this game works. It's really bad near the, uh, in some of the tougher stages near the end of the game, the end game stuff. You know what, I'm going to use this here, because these guys are kind of tough. Ooh. A little bit of a slowdown there. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, what the fuck? None of this is hitting any of them? For reals? This run may be going down the crapper. Thank you! Needed that big time. Yikes. This lack of keys is really killing us, I think. Just making the 
run go to hell. As you can see, by the way, this is uh, constant micromanagement, essentially, with this, trying to figure out who's uh, who's looking where. You, you pretty much have to always look out of the corner of your eye. There we go, and boom, done. Nice, there we go. As you can see, by the way, having one soul heart and only two heart containers is really tough on you in this game. Alright, let's see if we can damage these guys enough. I'm just, I'm going to play this safe. I see no reason to test my luck with any of this, essentially. I'm going to play the uh, patient approach here. There we go. Now we can do this, and what do you know? We finally got a fucking key. Nice. One floor too late, it seems, but... And blast damage. This is a uh, bad item. For instance, if we would have gotten blast damage on the last floor in place of the uh, the map, uh, the compass that we unlocked prior, our luck has been so bad with these things that I'm going to test it again. And wow, man, this game is just shitting down our throats right now. Really, kind of disheartened by this, man. This is, uh, this is not turning out the way that I envisioned it. And... We'll get that half a heart back. These guys are assholes. Let's see... Detached his head from his body. Don't really gotta aim for that guy. You only need to go for the head. That guy isn't gonna bother you so much. And as you can see, because we, uh, don't have full health, or soul hearts, or anything of that nature. We're not getting into there, so... <laughs> Got the Michael J. Fox disease! This is a good area to use one of these. Because of that. <laughs> Don't even have to worry about it, essentially. Alright, let's... Oh, never mind. That was, uh... Not my best move, it seems, but... Hopefully this has some health inside. Yes, it does! Thank you, Soul Hearts. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and investigate the rest of this floor before taking on this boss. Oh, this is now open now. Alright, let's see what's inside. Uh... Do I want to do this or no? Yes. Not worth it. Kind of thought it wouldn't be, but... We don't do enough damage, basically, to do these challenges like this, this late in the game. It's, it's, it's always constantly going to spew really tough enemies at you, like the Screaming Babies. Just never, uh, never a good thing. Forget what the second thing is here. Okay. This isn't so bad. The spiders are kind of assholes, but you get them early on in the game, too. So it's not really anything that you're not expecting. And the only ones really tough on this are the ones with the crying Isaac face on the where their brain should be. Also, that's really fucking creepy. I'm sorry, but that's like Japanese level creepy. That is way creepier than it has any right to be. And there we go. Get quite a bit of money. So we will investigate a store since we have money and one key. I'm going to make that mistake again. <laughs> Uh, bomb guys. Our biggest issue now is we can't let these bomb guys get any... The bomb flies, pardon me. Get any uh, closer to us than need be, simply because uh, we have an orbiting satellite around us now with the cube of meat that deals offense. So, basically, from the start, you're, you're looking at some negative stuff that could possibly happen to you. Because if you get too close to them things and they... they kill it, it's going to explode everywhere. Another soul heart. Alright, this is starting to get to be a little bit better of a run here. Let's see, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna, gotta time this right and micromanage the shit out of it, basically. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, not dead yet. Thought I could get off the three, but I did not. Boom, done. Alright. And 
and we have two. Let's go in here, see what we can get. Thank you for this heart. Uh, the Minecraft pickaxe, as you can see right here, uh, that ended up being a nice little endeavor. Uh, Minecraft pickaxe, and since we can't really use money for much after so long, the Minecraft pickaxe uh, destroys blocks. But we have enough, we have 22 bombs, so that's useless to us. I wish we could get something better than Anarchist Cookbook right now. Book of Shadows, anything would do at this point. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna try it. And just more bombs. Basically, the game's just shitting bombs on us now. I'm gonna try some of the obvious places where a hidden room might be. What if mark all the hidden rooms on my map if we have the compass? I wonder that, because I noticed that it's marked this boss over here. Which I'll try. Why not? It's probably greed. Yeah, super greed. There we go. Uh, trying to keep... Oh, really? Fucking ass. There we go. Come on. Come on! There you go, now you're dead. And we have 14. I thought that would give us something after that. But either way, we only wasted one half of the soul heart, so no harm, no foul. Let's go and finish up this floor. Ooh, this is Monstro 2. I accidentally skipped the intro, but... As you can see, whenever this guy lands, uh, he, he shoots everything sort of like glow- Oh, man. Didn't notice that. My bad. You'll notice he does that little grin if you're on the side of him, and he will do the uh, gluttony thing. And the first time that he hops, he releases those huge, uh, huge orbs of blood. There's the grin, and then there's the shot. Grin? Yeah, there's the grin, there's the shot. Those huge orbs are coming right now, and then the second one will be a bunch of explody boat flies. Ow. There we go, more boat flies. Oh boy. Dodging shit like Ikaruga up in this bitch. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. I, I don't know why, but for some reason I'm playing this like I have. Halo of Flies in addition to the Cube of Meat. And it's really a dumb way to play this, I'm finding. And as you can see, he does damage to those flies as well, so... And we just grab stem cells, which boosts our health. Let's dive on in. The Depths 2. Oh, snap. Out of toilet paper. I hate when that happens. You know what else I hate? Whenever the videos end abruptly. <laughs>